Welcome in. It is day 207, and you're speaking to the Meeples Champion. And today we're going to be going over a small trick-taking game that I got via Kickstarter many years ago. I don't have the box anymore, as I was reducing my games, and that was one of the boxes that was let go. I'm going to try to see if I can get a picture online to place over here. But for the stand-in, I've got the small box that holds the instructions and the game right here. Now the concept of it is that you're essentially trying to get treats. So you're going to have all these different dog suits, and you're going to, at the beginning of the round, be determining what the alpha dog is. That's going to be your, your biggest suit. Then everybody's going to be dealt seven cards, and you're going to be slowly now having to have somebody set the suit. When you do this, it means, well, if somebody sets blue, you have to follow blue. If you don't have a blue, you can play something else. You play another card, it goes around. When everybody's played their cards out, you then figure out who would win that suit. If anybody was able to play the alpha dog suit, the highest ranking alpha dog suit wins. If not, whoever has the highest ranking of the suit that was set wins. Any of the other suits are kind of slough. They don't do anything. So you do this, you're capturing your different tricks, and you basically have a bid number that you had gotten at the beginning of the round, and you're trying to reach that. And when somebody achieves their bid, they've won their bid and they can put theirs up with the treat showing. And if somebody is, does not hit their bids, they're going to go down and that's going to show poo marks, meaning they didn't get it. And you're going to keep going until you finish out the round, you see who gets what for their bid cards, you add up all your treats, and you see who got the most treats. So there are some bigger treat cards. You can get bid cards with way more treats, but they're harder to reach. So somebody might win because they said, I'm going to go nice and steady and just go for one or two treats. It's a simple couple of bids, you know, a couple tricks compared to somebody who's going for five or six treats, but it might mean they have to get four or five, maybe even six of those tricks. It's not easy to achieve. So once this has all been determined, you're then going to get the round marker card and you're going to get to be the next leader. And you basically have a predetermined amount for how many you're looking for. And once you get to the set number, you all show and see how many you have for your points. And that's how you determine the winner. It's reasonably easy. I got it. I tried it with my wife, and really this one didn't hit for us. Now, maybe it was just the wrong situation. Maybe I needed to play this with more players. I haven't given it really a second chance. It's been my collection for many years, but it's just fallen off. That being said, I wanted to jump in, judge this game on our seven categories, and see where it really ranks for us. When it comes to the art, I think it's fine. I think that the art on the cards is, is nice. You know, the, the dogs, there's lots of different dogs on it, which is really what you're going for. And that matches up with your purple cover of the box and the dog on the front. It's cute. But for me, does it attract the eyes? Does it pop? I don't think anything about the setup of the game makes it pop. And I think in a store, that box just gets forgotten about. You walk right by it. I only got it because it was a Kickstarter and I was looking for something on the cheaper end to buy and I love trick taking. So I took a shot on it. But for me, I think it has to be a thumbs down. When it comes to the components, it's all cards. The entire game is cards. And it's a pretty good quality. I wouldn't say it's the best quality. It's probably like second tier, but it's still really good. I'm not worried about it wearing. I'm not worrying about it easily tearing. It's got to be a thumbs up. Your price. Now, the price would normally get a thumbs up. The reason I'm not going to do that, though, is because even though you could probably get this for, like, say, 15 regularly, the game never took off. I have it listed on my Board Game Geek account, and I've had many people reach out asking to get the game because it's not bad. And like myself, if you like trick-taking, you're looking for options, and this is an option but it never took off. So it is not in stores. You're not going to find it online, meaning that most likely you have to hunt it down from somebody who bought it from that Kickstarter. For me, that has to be, when it comes to the price, thumbs down. Your difficulty. I don't think it's too difficult. I would say that a beginner and a kid could try to play this game, but compared to a lot of other trick-taking games, I think that there's a little bit more confusion along the way with this one, having to know about when do you grab this card? Okay, now we're bidding out. Now we're doing our normal trick taking. All right, now based on that, we're trying to get bids for the card we took. Now based on that, we're going to get treats or we're going to get poos. Now based on the results of all the ones we got from the round, we're going to see who has the most. Now based on the result of that, we're going to get a card. Let's do it again. 
it, I think, could lose a kid. I think a beginner would be okay, but I think it loses a kid. And once you go beyond the beginner, I don't think this is the kind of game that an experienced or expert will play. I think that there's 10, 20, probably 30 other trick takers that they would prefer to play over this one. For me, this is just a beginner who's going to get into this game, and it's really only going to be a beginner who's a trick-taking fan. So it's just not enough there. It's going to be a thumbs down. Your replayability. If you enjoy the game, the replayability, I suppose, is there, but it isn't a short game. It's going to take you at least 30 minutes. It could take you an hour, but at least 30. And so I'm not sure this is a back-to-back -back play game. So it's up to how much you do trick-taking. And honestly, if you play a lot of trick-taking, the likeliness is you'll play a trick-taking game and then you'll play a different version the next time. There'll only be one or two that are at the forefront for you. So while I think that they would expect it when they made the game, I think the result was the game wasn't hot enough to have it be in enough shelves and be the favorite amongst trick-taking games on somebody's collection to allow it for the replayability. I just don't think it has it. It's going to be a thumbs down. Your keys to victory. So the keys come down to two simple things. When you're getting your bid card, are you trying to get a low or a high? I mean, I guess medium is in there as well, but really it's low or high. Are you trying to guarantee yourself that you should be able to easily get what you're looking for? Or are you trying to take the big risk to get a big reward? For me, I think that going for the risk versus going for the guarantee comes down to what's everybody else doing? Because you could take the guarantee and end up having a whole bunch of people who are also taking the guarantee. And now it's just, well, somebody took the one for three and I took the one for two and he did and he did and she did and she did and they're easily going to win. Or a whole bunch of people took big. It just, there's keys there, but I feel like there's not many and the option is very limited. I just don't like it. It's got to be a thumbs down. Is it unique? I think that what they're going for, the concept technically is unique. I think where they lost me was they tried to make it too complicated without enough theme to follow. I think that the core game is still just, we're dealing out this set of cards. We have multiple suits. This is the suit you're supposed to follow. And this is the Trump suit. And that's all it is. And when it comes down to the core game, it's, it's no different than most other trick takings. The little bits they add to it, I don't feel make it unique. I just feel that it hinders it from being a great game. So I have to give it thumbs down on unique. Overall, what do I think? The game is playable, and I think that it, it's a game, but I don't recommend it. I think there are plenty others I would much rather recommend. Go get Skull King, go play Wizard, you know, go play spades or hearts i just think they're all better i just don't think this one deserves to be in stores and those who have reached out trying to get the game i think that you're going to find yourself disappointed when you finally play it it just isn't worth your time and money to go get it well it has been day 207 and we've been speaking about the game pups and you've been speaking to the meeples champion like share subscribe and if ever I do find a version of this on Amazon, I'll add the link down below so you can pick up this game for your collection. Until next time, I'll talk to you tomorrow.